Oh, yeah. So, 9.45 on Sunday, 24th, I believe, of April 2022. And uh, it's our second day fishing at, I can't remember the name, but what a lake this is. Big lake's busy today. There's all these sailors around here. Pretty much all full of local anglers. Massive lake. There's a lot of VIPs from over there. Massive lake. Loads of areas that people can't really get to and fish at all, but loads of fish in there. Um, lots of guys there. Kim and Ian are going home this morning. I think they've got a builders coming tomorrow. Stephen's up pretty early. So fishing. Harvey's still in bed, but he's getting out of bed in a minute. Kitty's made some lovely um, Toulouse sausages and some black pudding. And also, if you stay here, it's 800 baht a night. Me and Danny shared a room, so it's 400 baht each. Um, you get a free breakfast, like a Thai breakfast with that, which, which is really nice as well. Like a pork. Uh, Harvey would know what it's called, I can't remember. Um, but really nice. Uh, so nice and full up today. So yeah, it's uh, say 10.45 in the morning. Uh, sorry, 9.45, pretty late. But we had a few beers last night and uh, night needed a decent night's sleep. Yeah. I'm back on the same area. Gonna fish two rods, one about three or four rod lengths out, one with a little bit of a lazy lob out. Um, I'm gonna start on pop-ups today. I started on sweet corn yesterday and I didn't have a bite on that at all. Um, so I haven't had a meat con yet, I've had five fish so far yesterday, all quality fish. A free sock, uh, biggest was eight pound, three ounce. Danny had one of uh, 11 pound, which is a lovely fish, wasn't it? Yeah, really nice. Um, I had one Chinese silver carp, which I don't catch many of, which is nice to catch. Glad to see they're in here. And and one I had a Siamese, a 60 pound on the nose, more or less. Um, Danny had three Siamese, um, one was 33 pound. One we didn't weigh, but it's about 50 pound. And then the other one was like 58 pound or 59 pound. And Kitty had a Siamese on Harvey's rod when he was down the shop, which went 41 and a half. So we had five Siamese carp, four of them were over 40 pound. So really nice, really nice. Uh, three, four Esoc all together. They're all decent fish, of course. And then um, Ian had a uh, common snakehead on a little bit of chicken heart. And other than that, we've had, uh, Danny's had tilapia, jar barb, swai, mekong, um, as is most other people as well. Um, so we're quite excited about this lake because it's only, well, I can't remember what it exactly takes to get here because we stopped in Bangkok on the way here and a night there, but it's going to be about two or three hours drive. It's really comfortable to do a night here. And uh, it's a massive water and we like big waters because we don't get to fish big waters in Thailand very often um, and yeah the water quality looks great so hopefully those carp that we're catching the 60 pound in a few years time will be 100 pound um, and if there's a 60 pound in there it's a good chance there might be an 80 pound in there at the moment as well so that's what we'd like to catch today um, Danny's just getting his gear ready now just knocking his ground bait up and just about to mix my ground bait up and then I'll be here till I'm not sure what time today, maybe six o'clock, seven o'clock, and then I'm gonna drive into Bangkok and find somewhere to stay. I may even go back to Oyo, but I might, yeah, I'm just probably just trying to find somewhere near Tower Bed, uh, somewhere, budget, a budget room there. And um, and if I can't, then I'll phone up Oyo, the fellow we stayed before, Siamese carp just, just rolled out there. But yeah, all in all, what a great trip, what a great weekend. We had a night out in Bangkok, really good laugh. Um, and fished here yesterday, here last night, and then towel bed tomorrow. So yeah, brilliant. The morning after. Here we go, Dan's had a tilapia. Right hand rod just melted. And no, this is the long one. I've chucked this out further than I've had any casting. Went to the new uh, Harvey's, uh, adjusted my casting technique. <laughs> <laughs> Gone extra 30 yards, yeah? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Possibility of a swai. Uh, add Dan, if you could add Dan. Is it? Oh, is it? It's a good one then. Tell you what, that ESOC yesterday fought really hard. Three ESOC yesterday, weren't there? Four. Was there four in the end? Yeah. It's a nice fish. This is quite a decent size. This is where the dartboard comes out. <laughs> it's an Easter. Nice one. She is right in the middle of the dartboard. Whoa, who? There we go, just tilting back a tad. That's lovely. Here we are, lovely stuff, mate. Brilliant. Superb.
<laughs> that, that's, that's that other species that I had in JM because of the yellow one there, the anal fin there, it looks a bit different. Yeah man. Oh, I... oh three bites, three species. Those little bubbles on there. Yeah. It could be, you know, leaning back a tad, that's it, bit back a tint. That's right. That's one. Lovely Good fish. Fish, yeah. We'll get through these tomorrow, Just down, down enough tad, that's it. Leaning back. That's it. That's it. Lovely. That's the one. Might be another Java. What is that? A oh, it's a. Might, no, it might be another silver carp. Silver carp. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'd go up a bit further, it's flat there, mate. I reckon it'd be easier for the fish sliding about. That's it. Lovely. Lovely little chaps, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Hey. So they don't catch them, No. It's alright, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Loads. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. So that's a uh, silver carp. Mouth slightly smaller than the big head carp. Uh, and uh, you don't catch them that often. Leaning back a tad. That's it. Uh, just lean the fish. That's the one. Lovely, mate. Well done. Uh, four different species, isn't it? Four fish, four different species. Lovely. Kitty, careful. Kitty. Just seen a monocle cobra on the lawn. There's only a little one. Hey? There's only a little baby. Anyway, I think we're not going to see it again now. It's gone. It's going to be in, in right in the undergrowth somewhere. It, went, it was going through the grass itself, so I just don't want it. Don't want to stand on it by accident. No, that wouldn't be good. No. Could be anywhere. Yeah, and Harvey's got bare feet. Oh, mental. Did you, you definitely saw did he, did he hood up? No, no, but I saw the monocle on the back. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Sweaty vibes. It's uh, nine minutes past one. And what a lovely lake this is. Lovely breeze coming from left to right across the lake, across the water. Got two rods out there, one on a bit of an underarm. Cast had my first fish and I did a tilapia on that one. And I've had a Java barb, a Chinese black carp, an Aesop and a tilapia on the long rod. A um, bit tricky today. At the moment I'm the only one that seems to be getting bites. I don't know if anyone else had a fish yet. Um, Danny's scratching his head a bit because he was getting bites all day long there yesterday and he's not had a bite there today. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm on a couple of pineapple pop-ups. Oh yeah, lovely lake. Very nice. It's got the aerator on over there at the moment. You can walk round to this bank here, fish this main bank, left bank here and this bank we're on now. But Danny walked round earlier to do some lure fishing and where you can see that big yellow or orange or roof over there, that's all, you can get round there but it's not really walking territory, it's more like snake territory. So, uh, But you must be able to get round there because there's a swim over there so maybe there's a, a, a road round the back perhaps. Uh, but yeah, maybe one day we're going to have a look at that. Yeah, all to play for. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Danny's into his first fish of the day. Got the aerators on in the background. He caught this one on the drop, you reckon? Just hit the bottom or something? Oh, yeah. Usually, Swire usually just follow stuff down, don't they? <laughs> Sacrilege. Where, where is that? Off the mark. Onwards and upwards. Danny's fish. Lovely dorsal fin. Proud. Lovely condition. Yeah. Well done, mate. Well done, Danny. a screamer on the uh, on the, the far out rod, and that was feels like a powerful fish, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, good one. Oh, hell of a, the, the reel was going as fast as I've ever seen it. Still yeah, going. Yeah. It will never take down three barrels. Yeah. It's fucking gone a long way out. I'm going to try and land it to the right here, I think, because I'm... 
Oh, you need to that. That's okay, that's okay. Barbecue. Okay. Sorry, mate, Or Mr. Bream, of course. Or Mr. Bream. Yeah. Me, John. Yeah, it's not even. I think so. Well, I, I get the feeling it is. It was hell of a pace. From the 50, 60 pound rope. Oh, that's, that's, that's helpful, yeah. It's probably about three o'clock. Blazing hot. Low day down there, isn't it? Hey? Low day. Very slow day today, yeah. Too many people. A lot of people, a lot more people here today. Crazy. And then it was yesterday. The local guys looking on. 100 pound of John. Wow. It's amazing how he's hanging out there. Normally you lean on them and they just, they, you know, they work back towards you, but he's still taking line. Quite hard in here, isn't it? That could have been my fish on the surface, you know. Just sitting. Under a bit of cover because the sun is blazing hot. These oh, shoes cover, are boiling. My feet are burning in these shoes. Bloody rods are red hot when you pick them up. I know, yeah. Landing it's hot. It's boiling hot. It's a hot one today. Nice timey swell there. It's yeah. Mekong. Get out. <laughs> no, I started swelling underneath the rod now. It's weird. It sort of fought like shit and then, and then almost swam towards me. You know? it's, yeah, it's it needs a gale, I think. We need to try and drag it up there when he when he net it. We're gonna bring the stuff down here. Okay, man. Yeah, say so we'll bring it down when it, it goes in the net. Well, that's a good fish, John. That's a nice fish. I don't think it's as big as one that Dan had last night. Oh, it's not that big at all. Fucking hell, did he go well? Yeah, they go well, man. Cheapers. It's not that big, down here, Forty pounds. It's not. Forty pounds, it. He's not a one for well. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I thought I couldn't believe that. I should have known by the, the pace he went, I suppose, initially. Oh, oh, oh it's got a line. Yeah. Easy. Nice oh, job. Beauty. Pull that net away as well. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's a no. He's not far. It's quite dark, mate. Well, that's all. Yeah. I don't know what Kitty's last night was 40, wasn't it? I think that's smaller. Come to me a bit, come towards me a bit. It's quite dark still, but we'll probably keep, it'll always get better light off here than, than you can see. So. Beautiful fish, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Yeah, stunning there we go. fish. That's a, like and subscribe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Thank you. It's just gone three o'clock. Harvey's just put back uh, Siamese of about 35 pounds, we've guesstimated. And uh, just literally a couple of minutes later, Danny's just had a fish, so it looks like fish are starting to come and feed a little bit now. See a lot of blowing out here, so I've just brought one rod in a bit closer. Oh yeah. The silver carp, look at that. Hold it up for the camera. Yeah. I think I'm winning on species. <laughs> It's a different species, but What's not one of my favourites. In fact, I hate these. I don't mind the. I don't mind them, but I can't catch many of them. But yeah. I can catch loads of them. Like, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be trying to avoid them tomorrow at Tower Bed. They're a nightmare. Normally, you foul look them. Yeah, nice one, Dan. Good getting chow on. pie, ain't we? Yeah, it'd be nice if it was like 50, 60 pound, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Danny's had a screamer. It's just oh, literally just gone five past the hour. Well, oh, five past five o'clock. All right, about 50 pounds. A bit, bit smaller. They just go like shit, mate. They go like shit. It was a little bit. It's probably come off now he's turned. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You're right about that? Yeah. I'm going to say 40, 48. Yeah. Is that sling, sling not off yet, no? No. Okay, go on. 
Sling Street. Okay. That's full. Yeah, we'll is that 50? 50 pounds? Yeah. yeah. 47. 47. Nice. Now that, that other one would have been 50 pounds then. Oh, I think so. And I think mine was 60. <laughs> Here we go. 47 pounds Siamese. Number 8 of the session. Danny Os Merrion. What a cracker. We've got a couple of still shots. Super stuff. Danny's uh, oh, 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 been doing it. well catching Siamese for the last couple of days. So, uh, yeah, look, that's the... Uh, what he buys off Lazada and cuts up in the strips and just yeah. puts that on the shank of the hook. Yeah. Mm. So, Favourite. Uh, I'm going to follow suit. I've had a Siamese today. I'm going to uh, use black today and yellow I'm going to use black zig foam on this one. And I'll pop that up. What's it class that is on the Zig foam. About two and a half inches, that one. And on the other one, I've just got the boilie popped up. About four inches, which is a lot more higher popped up than I normally. I don't normally pop it up about an inch or two. So I'm just going to see if I can pop stuff a bit higher to get a nice Siamese or Mekong before we go out. <laughs> 5.30 and Danny's had a screamer while he was resetting his other rod. That had been out well over 25 minutes. Could be a mini Yeah, I've not seen any movements yet to suggest a sign, but he might be just having a little chill. It went off like a So he's back in line. Very windy here, you can probably pick up on the camera. It's a big, big old lake we are at today. Massive area over there, like a nature area. Aerators on. Sun blazing down. Danny's into a big Siamese. It's not that big, is it? It's, not big. <laughs> it's, it's uh, between 35 and 40, yeah. Um, Getting for a pig. You know you want me to? I should just leave it. I think you've got enough video, haven't you? Probably better do it on the grass if you want. Yeah. Rig out of it. I have, yeah, he's, he's dead. There is the orc. Uh, in his mouth. <laughs> Not in his tail. <laughs> this might swim off now. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. I hope he's well trained. There you go. Yeah. Uh, round this way. Come round that way a bit if you can, Danny. The oh. sun's behind you pretty much. Yeah? Yeah, keep going around this way. See if you can get your body a bit higher. You, you're hiding your face a little bit. That's better. That's lovely. Oh. Oh. Be oh. Yeah, you tell. Be yeah. Yeah. Come around this way a little bit if you can. Pristine. Well done, mate. Nice one. Number nine. Well, it's 17 minutes past six now. The sun is uh, starting to dip, well starting to dip, it's almost gone, uh, it's a lovely burn that cloud there, silhouetted the cloud nicely, um, Danny's in again, well, he thinks another Siamese, smaller one this time, he's smashing it at the moment today, um, I think we've had nine Siamese between us and Danny's had six of them, so he's uh, showing us how it's done on the Siamese front. It's a lovely setting here. Danny's into another fish. The rig foam is absolutely smashing the place. We've got a beautiful cloud formation with the sun setting behind it over there. It looks oh, dreamy. Mm. Dan's doing a double teapot. Uh, oh, he's chafing. Oh, I think it is, mate. Danny's the legend. Of course, that's the smallest one. I reckon that was uh, under 30 pound, that one. Oh, 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 of course. Oh, just get him here. He's thirty, isn't he? Well, he goes forty-one. So you're, you're, he's thirty-eight. Uh, oh, well, well, well done. Well done. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Oh, end of the scale, isn't it? Yeah. Quite a small one. I, even though, mate, it's a cracking fish. There you go, mate. Absolute scorcher. Lovely stuff. Very authentic with the uh, the chap on the motorbike taxi behind. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant. Steve's in. Steve's in. Look at the sunset. Look at the setting for this moment. 
Unbelievable. Fags going in. What was that on, Steve? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bit of rig foam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh it's a great honestly steve that rod bended but that that sky behind is absolutely tremendous oh it's lovely i said it all like if it is a car we're going away from all the time before you go that's okay there's no one to your right you've got acres lovely stuff He's on his toes. Oi, he's on his toes. Yeah? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm loving that. Well, Steve's been on this fish for only five minutes or so. Probably about 20 or 30 meters from the bank. And uh, we're hoping this is going to be the fish to finish the session in style. Funny, isn't it? Sammy's cut. They sort of get bigger. The longer you play the fight, the more they get big. You just start off thinking, oh, it's quite small. And the further you get onto the fight, the bigger they get. Yeah. It seems like how they... I didn't want to give it one over at the end. <laughs> they do have fun. <laughs> I go and keep talking. No, I put like the palm tree, like one of the big ones. Well, that's yeah. Big, yeah. And then Twenty minutes later. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's the same. It's the same as like European carp. Like, normally, like, you can say that actually screams off. Yeah. You almost mm. see the line completely down your spot, and it's like a bit. Yeah. Mid yeah, they, and they, else goes, do, 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 yeah. Do, 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 do. Big bodies move a lot slower, don't they? Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Heads up, heads up. Hook nicely. Go on. What a finisher. Yes. Come on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Brilliant. Oh, that's lovely. What a way to finish. We love, well, we love Thailand. With the weight of the sling off, so this is the weight of the fish. I know. What's everybody going? Down went 40. 40. 41. Kit, you went 42, didn't you? I did. Uh, I'll say uh, 43. I'll say 30. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's 42. 42, mate. <laughs> 42. 42, mate. 42, mate. Yeah, that number was already gone for I, I, I bought me two. Is it 42? <laughs> me. Well done. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, she said 42 because I thought she'd talk about me age. Hey! <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so I'm straighten him up, Dan. Dan, just help him. Mind that door, so then. Just yeah. grab that one there, mate, if you can. That's okay, that's, that's good. That's, that's right, good. That's good. That's lovely. Nice one. Oh, 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 right, oh, right. oh, 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 very nice. That's beautiful. Look at the tail. Look at that length of the, the each peak of the tail. Nice one. Forty-two pound. Well done, Stephen. Awesome, Thank mate. You, what guys. a great, great way to finish the day. We'll or finish the day. Well, we're here, anyway. We're going to fish on, probably. Yeah, Steve. A couple more. She's behaving. Over home. Ning, with your camera. <laughs> Lovely. Cheers, guys. It's done. We got it. We got it. Yeah, baby, you got it. Whoa. Hello. 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 Meanwhile, is that your already? Shit. It's come off. Nice. Now for what, isn't it? Unusual. Yeah. Isn't it? The only one that's gone that way in two days. Feel good, John. Well, I, I was chatting to a Thai bloke earlier, and he said if the fish goes left up towards the air rate, it's one of the hundred pounders. <laughs> 
it's got to be 40, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll go up 60, 50. Yeah, you could probably work it out later, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's a lump. Yeah, that's a lump. I'll tell Steve, I'll, I'll give you how many because it might break, isn't it? No, it's my place. That's a lump. Well, that's a 50. That all could be close. That is a lump, mate. It might be 50. Yeah, I'm certainly the best I've had. That's yeah, one about 50 pounds. 50, 50, 52. So that 13th of the trip, is it? I went 55. 12. Um, is that 12? I'm going to go 55. I heard you 12. Uh, 12 uh, I'll go 50. I'll go 50. 50. 30, you know, I lost one as well. I'll go 53. Are you zero? Oh, no. Jeez. Zero, just, just yeah. yeah. 59, mate. It's 56. So, oh, was it a pound, Hang on. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's 59. Oh, so it's been a 58, a 59, and a 60. Nice one, mate. Nice one. Do you want to get in the water with it? Yeah. Uh, I'll have a photo here and it's out of the water now. Oh, that's stunning. It looked clean, that water. Call that breadfish. Well done, Mr. Harvey. So a nice, he's got a very recognisable tail there. Look at the end of his tail. Oh yeah. The top. Yeah, it's got a it's kind of a chow fire little thing going on. Jumping. Struggling to lift it. Oh. So. Right. Oh, just 59 pounds. Oh, oh. Sorry. God damn. I can't stick on that tail. Look. Come mm. on, mate. Right. He's gonna go. Oh. Nice one. Nice way to end the day. Oh yeah, my man. Oh, and yeah. the chef. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what did you say? I said, what a lovely way to end the show. Uh, John Wilson, classic phrase, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice one, Danny. Good weekend, mate. Good weekend, mate. Great, yeah. great weekend. Let's go home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've many... got a couple of beers back in Bangkok. Yeah. How many Siamese? Get a table of Uh 12, yeah, we've got one. Yeah. 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 Dozen, dozen Siamese. 14, we've got one. Yeah, I, I lost two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, there was enough chances to make you think <laughs> that this is a genuine place to come for yeah, a decent yeah. size Siamese. And if there's a couple of 80, 90 <coughs> pounders in here to pop up. Yeah, I'd be a lovely surprise. There might be. We'd mm. love to find out how old it is and we'll have a good idea. Yeah. Do you reckon there's an 100 pounder in here, Dan? You never know, but I'd say there's a good chance of being an 80 pounder in here. Yeah, the way yeah. we've been catching like 50s and 60s. Yeah. Right, mm. when we've stopped, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dan, that do it now, aren't you? Yeah. Tight line vibes. Tight line vibes, guys. <laughs> 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 Tight line vibes. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Undergrounds, undergrounds. Yeah. Tight line vibes. Yeah. I'll come through the middle of the camera. Right. Cracking weekend. <laughs> Straight through the middle. Super vibes with RV and Danzac. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. 24th of April. Uh, time's about midday. Oh, it's our bed. Uh, I've got the bank holiday off today. It's Anzac Day in Australia. I work Aussie hours. My clients are there. And we're at uh, Tower Bed, yeah. Let's try up here. No rods. Got a load of gear. Far too much gear. Ground bait. And uh, uh, we stayed in Bangkok last night uh, with a friend. Went out in, in Nana, had some food and a few beers, watched a bit of football. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Danny. Danny, Danny Merrion. Great yeah. to spend the weekend with Danny. What a viber. Brilliant good time. Dinner. Had a nice roast dinner last night. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're here a little bit later than planned, but it's all good. We've got a fish, probably fish five, well, John's going to be in five or six hours. Yeah. I'll probably stay on a couple of hours after them. And uh, yeah, if you catch some nice fish. Well, it's about 20 past 12, just arrived. Never fished this end of the lake before. So, oh, by the time I fished here, I fished over there the first time. And that was the first day. Then the second day, of the first time, I fished over here. And the next time I'll come back, I'll fish in that corner again. Um, but we never fished this end of the lake here. Um, it's Monday, so it's not very busy. There's one other angler over here. There might be an angler over there as well. And that's it. Um, maybe some more turn up later. Harvey and Kitty can set up in that corner there. It looks really fishy there. And I've got this bank along here. I've seen a lot of whip anglers under this tree. It's one of the only trees, or well, there's a couple of trees hanging over the lake over that end. But it's a proper feature, so. I'm going to have one out just in the margins here. 
on probably on sweet corn fairly small small hook light braid and then that guy's setting up over there so I don't get too close to him I'll have one along this bank uh, definitely one off this set of reeds here the reeds don't really go into the water but they're definitely well they do a little bit there's a feature there so I'll have one there I'll probably have one just in the middle there as well um, depending on that, where that guy's going I might have one right up the end there as well uh, but we'll see where he sets up um, but yeah lovely um, hopefully it won't take us too long to get set up and get the gear out a little pond next door as well so hopefully we'll catch some nice fish sold with a barb uh, black shark minnow mad barb hoven's carp they're the targets julian's of course um, and yeah something i've not, never caught before which i don't even know what's in here i know there's a couple of mad species in here i'm not familiar with oh yeah sit on, up underneath a tree Water there. Got one alarm here, I've got two alarms up there and I have one just where there's reeds and one in the corner probably and I've got one just down the edge here it's a mix, just uh, the crumb Danny gave me a bag from yesterday left over, a 60 butter bag at the other lake um, just crumb and that's Macquit and seed mix in here, uh, bird seed mix I've got a load of that in there as well just mix it in, put a bit of water in there and that'll be my base mix for my method feeder. A nice wind blowing into us here, so it should be good conditions. Okay, just landed our first ever rohu and I managed to let it flap back into the water. So uh, with a bit of luck, we're gonna redeem ourselves. Second cast. Oh, oh, it's a big carp. Big carp down. Big common. Big common. Might need your net. Shit. Yes, he's there. What a fish. I reckon it's gonna go double figures. <laughs> I've just put two rods out. Still setting up the third and oh Kitty's just caught a massive carp. Look at that. Wow, big one. Big common that. That's probably gonna go. Gonna go 18 pounds, I reckon. Yeah, that's a huge one. I'm gonna say 15 and a half. Mm -hmm. 16, four. 16, four, okay. 16 pound four. Yeah, that's that's sling no, off. No, that's that's the weight of the fish. So, up with the fish. That's it, lovely. Is that corn? Yeah. Uh, corn, fresh corn and uh Find that rock behind you for a step back. I think so. Yeah. The fight was up. Um, not mental, they don't, do they? But uh, it was... just when it hit the surface, like, yeah. it's a big fish. <laughs> nice one. 16 4, is it? Yeah. 16 4, yeah. Well done, Kitty. Thank you. Brilliant. Awesome. Kitty's just had a 16 and a half pound common carp. That's, that's a win. Um, I just lost a fish. Oh, they've got to run. So I've still got the same rigs on from yesterday. I was running to his rod. They've got a camera over there, so I'll just wait to see. Go down there, look. I'll come back and film me rig in a minute. So just walked in a bunk, bent to Harvey. Um, he thinks he's got a Julian's on at the moment. It's all going off. It's been busy since we got here. It's nice and quiet, it's nice to come up here. Yeah. On a day where it's, it's not full of anglers. Day. Yeah. It's probably the best day to fish after the weekend. I always like to think when someone gets, eh? Someone gets smashed all weekend and then yeah. Mondays are quiet. That's a packer, isn't it? Look, Packer, yeah. Oh no, that's fucking out. Look at that. Look at that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at that bloody thing. It's a lump as well. Just doing that. Take him down there, yeah? Yeah, got him. Oh, no, Kim, got him. Behind me, this place, I haven't even got three rods out yet. And they've had a 16 and a half pound common and a bloody pink shark minnow. Jesus. Alright, oh, almost £10, is he? £10. £10. 
ten and a half, pretty much bang on ten and a half. Okay, so right yeah. now let's see the net was eight ounces. Let's get these, get this done fairly quick. Ah, that is awesome, man. Great colours. Yeah, it's great. Not many places you can catch them. Nice one. Brilliant. About ten pound. Yeah, around ten pound. Yeah, that's eight ounces. Yeah. Very strange. Much yeah. novelier difference to the the other one. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. the fish. Oh, watch out, mate. So I am. Oh, go, mate. I can bang in. Look at that for a fish. That's beautiful. Pink shark minnow. There's actually a different name for those ones, isn't there? Well, you said black shark minnow. Black shark minnow. Black shark minnow is the black shark minnow. You just said albino, but I wonder if it is a different species. Come uh, on, mate. Two sets, mate. Two sets. Two sets. The way they stick out in front. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling here, boy. I'm just gonna go. Nice one. Well done, mate. Cheers, mate. Right. Brilliant. That meant well, yeah. Nice <laughs> oh, one. He's up. I think so, looking at the mouth, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, he's the little one, isn't he? Oh, little terror. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. There you go. 1.22 in the afternoon. Um, I've got two rods out. I'm just putting the third one out now. I'm just going to show you the rig. So that's a 35 gram method feeder, Lazada. Got a big stopper on there and a little stopper. And a little way up, got my back adjustable back lead. Um, and then I've got a rubber rubber bead here. And it's just 20 pound braid down to a size 5. Thai Gamagatsu hook. I'm going to put a single bit of corn on here and uh, I'm just going to swap it with this rod here and then I'm going to change the, those two rigs of size nines that I was using yesterday at the big lake and I'm going to put size fives or maybe even smaller hooks on them um, and I'm also, then I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to set up a waggler rod so I'm just going to fetch a waggler on up here and when it gets too dark or later on I'll swap the waggler to and put a method over the top of that spot so yeah nice one I always said a lovely fish elf what was the net, Harvey? Okay. Lovely. Yeah, there you go. Just fishing the cage feeder here. You see a bucket position just here. I threw a few grains of John Nicholson's seed mix in there and uh, dropping a cage feeder over the top. We've had a couple of half chances. I think I foul hooked a fish. It didn't feel right from the start, but. Feels nice because the, the lake's so quiet. There's only a couple of whip anglers on. Now there's no pressure, and the fish we've had already have been impressive, so uh, the omens are good. It's lovely. We've got all our other rods positioned around this corner as you first come in the gate. And there's Kitty there I'm waiting for a bite. Kitty, have a photo with this one because she had one similar size earlier, maybe a bit bigger. Didn't quite get a photo of it. Always lively. There he is. What was that one on? Just on that, uh, what, a single bit of punch on the, on the cage feeder. Yeah, the Let like, shit, he That's did. Right. Yeah. Yes, that man. Strange, uh, strange fight. Wow. Well, it's a, it's a common. Margin spot, bit of fake corn. It's been a cracking day so far, hasn't it? Brilliant. Yeah. So it's another fish pulled the rod in nearly. I think it might be this little carp. <laughs> oh, big head. Little big head carp. Different to the silver carp we was catching at um at uh did a place yesterday, I forget the name of it. Semi and a bit of bother here, but he looks like he's... Oh. Oh, it could be another black shark minnow. I reckon so. Yeah, they like a snag. I reckon that might be. 
on your tip. Doing a good job so far. I reckon that is, because they, uh, that's exactly how they fight. So I can have a decent one if it is. Lovely to see. To no one. There's a post along there somewhere, mate. The landing net there, please. The landing net. Do you need to net if you are? Look at that! Wow, look at the colours of that. Awesome. Probably Which one is it? Shake it a bit. Oh, I'll go get the sling. This is the weight of the fish. Yeah. 13 pound. Okay. Hang on. Lovely. Nice look, you've got your pictures and all that, yeah? Just, just hold it up for the camera. Yeah. yeah. What a fight, mate. It was a fight, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought it was going to do me on those staunchings. Yeah, yeah lovely uh, fish, mate. Yeah. Awesome. Can you spin the tail around a bit? That's it. Nice one, mate. Super fish. Ah, super. Wow, oh, what a place this is, eh? Nobbles on the nose and the mouth. Yeah. Like bream nodules. Amazing fish. Okay. Super. Oh, it's lovely, mate. 2.35 in the afternoon. Um, Harvey and Kitty are, are smashing it so far. They've had a... Uh, um, Harvey's had a pink black shark minnow of um, £9.14 ounce and then a black shark minnow on the cage feeder just off, just fishing down here and off the edge of this plinth, concrete plinth, off the, where the sort of clubhouse area is and that was uh, £13 dead and Kitty's had a £16.4 ounce common so it's a brilliant fish, I've had two bites, um, one come off Another one was an ESOC, about two pound. They've also had, an, also had an ESOC and lost one as well. Um, got two rods down there. I'm going to put one right down in the corner in a minute next time I cast it out. And one where, replace one where the other one was, so to speak. Um, I'm just on the waggler, just down here. It's quite deep down there, it's about six foot deep, straight off there. Um, I've just got a weight holding bottom, um, sort of dead depth to, to the weight. And that's on bread punch, but nothing on that yet. I've just put some, some seed mix on top of it. And uh, that's on a size three Thai Gamagatsu hook. Just put a bit of ground bait over it, bits of seed and a half a dozen bits of corn. And hopefully I'll get something nice on that. Um, you know, I'll give it a few minutes and then I'm going to bring this in, reset those rods, come back on the waggler. Um, I think Harvey and Kitty are here till about five o'clock and I'll probably fish through till about seven, maybe half seven. And then I'll drive back to Patia. I'm even thinking about coming in next weekend. Um, so I'll ask Davos and Libra Force they're up for coming and maybe I'll see if Ian's up for coming as well um, and maybe maybe go out locally just down my local neck of the woods on Friday night for a few beers and then come here Saturday morning fish Saturday have a night in Bangkok Saturday night and then fish here Sunday and go home so yeah watch this place lovely place though I say we usually come here three or four times been here already it's uh, been at the weekend been very busy 
He's got one angler sitting over here, got his mate sitting next to him, all both on whips, whip angling. So not really just fishing quite close in. And uh, I think you've got a fella down there on, on a hammock, looks very relaxed. Really, really strong wind, so I hope that you can actually hear what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, really nice. Just need to get a few fish myself now. Uh, the rod's nearly got pulled in again. Fish swimming out into the middle of the lake. Probably not a black shark minnow, the last one went right back in under, but it was like a nice fish. I don't know. He's going back in under a bit. It's a very golden fish. Oh, shit, oh, it's, it's nice to no alarm. <laughs> There's no alarm with this one, is there? Yeah, sorry. I thought it might be another one of those pink black sharp minnow. Yeah. I'm not sure. I've seen the colours, but it's almost too strong to be a, a koi, but it might be. It is, it's a koi. Yeah, koi didn't have to go well. Ooh, a little koi carp, about three pounds. Beautiful colours, all sorts in this lake. Fantastic. There's uh, today's rig. Very, very simple. I was just thinking about uh, you know, the success Scopex has had. This is some of uh, Stephen Ellis's glug here. So I thought I'd just glug up me, me punch with some of his uh, lovely sweet flavours. Stephen's just started to make some boilies and gonna go into uh, selling boilies over here soon. So um, watch this space, but this is uh, one of the glugs that goes in conjunction with the boilies. Got S on it, that's all it means. Hopefully it means smelly, but uh, let's see if it makes a difference. Big Java. Hey, another new species. Yeah. Nice Java. Dead my first fish on the waggler. Avi's uh, kitty's got a java barb over there on the feeder at the moment. And I've just had a, a tilapia with a deformed head on the, uh, the waggler. And it is 3.42 in the afternoon. First to species at Rohu this morning. Didn't quite get a photo of that one, my fault. But we've got a photo of the java. Dan's just had a fish from the margin spot and then by the time he's got to it, it's in the middle of the lake, jumping. Got a bit of woe hoot. Java? Oh, jumping Java. Look at that. Two Javas in two minutes. Nice shot, mate. Super stuff. What a lake. Brilliant. Yeah. Superb. Well, that was a feral run. Got to be a Julian's. Coming over towards you now, Dan. Bloody hell. That was a screamer. Here he is, he's doing what they do. Often go on that run and then they wallow back towards you a little bit. Hope it's not a big swy. I said, just talking to the camera, I said, I hope it's not a big spy. <laughs> Might. That net should be big enough. I think. I think the net will be big enough. We'll get him in there, even if it's a 20 pounder. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, it's a bloody hot day. I don't know if he's up something, I think it's a Julian's. Yeah, well, I, I, I'd be surprised if it's not. It's speed, isn't it? But actually, you work that way a minute, Dan, just in case you can... Go on, step over. I'll have a better round. Step over. Funny. I don't 
Well, it might be, but it's still fast, isn't it? Well, I never thought about it, so I mean, probably still. I think so, just the speed, the raw speed of the bass. We'll take the 12 ounces off for the net and the feeder in a sec. 17.4, 17 pound 4 ounce. Okay. Lovely. Just my shadow all over Come round to the side, there, that way a bit, Harvey. Okay. Come round to your, to your left. Gigi ball. Gigi balls. He's got a hook in him, in his peg. Oh yeah, look at that. Somebody's fouled up to it on a whip and got smashed a bit. Which way, this way then? Yeah, that way, yeah. Way, yeah. Lovely, lovely fish, that. Nice uh, that. character scale pattern, very silver. I don't like it this way, but it's a bit of, bit of side. Lovely. Yeah. Nice one, 17 pound, four ounce. Yeah, minus With 12 ounces. Yeah, Carl, it's got a few little... Yeah, little uh, uh, anchor worms where they've, looks like they've died and fallen off. Nice lovely. one, mate, well done. Smashing it today. Well done, Alvin. Facing up into the wind a bit. Oh, let's go on, let's go on. <laughs> this one. She's alright. She's super. Just in case. I think she's alright. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Nice one. Cracking little sash. Yeah. Oh, it's a good one. Big job of bone, man. Oh, it's a lovely fish. Could be a PB. Yes, yeah, 3.9 was your previous. Had a nice Java barb up in the yeah. corner spot, but one right up in the corner there. Yeah. Walk it around those bushes. John, that is big, one. Yes. Uh, okay, we need okay. three nine, I think. That's bigger than that. It's, just, it's, it's accurate. Four pound four ounce. There you go. Did the filming first. The Java, personal best. That's yeah. burning me knees, leaning back a little bit. That's lovely. That's beautiful. Money shot. Be a prick. Oh, yeah. Thought I was filming then, but uh, just landed a lovely. Koi carp to end probably my best day at Tower Bet. Beautiful koi carp to uh, to finish the, the day probably for me. We're going to pack up early and run up some food with some friends in Bangkok. But uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic day. My best day at Tower Bet one miles with the range of species, an unusual species landed. But uh, yeah, fantastic. Oh, it's uh, 4.22 in the afternoon. Harvey's uh, smashing it over there. He's on the cage feeder and he's had two black shark minnows, or pink shark minnow, black shark minnow, Julian's, uh, koi carp, common carp, uh, rohu, isok, um, and Kitty's had a 16 pound four ounce common and a few um, rohu and common carp. Um, I've had uh, an isok, uh, two isok, um, a, a, a tilapia, and I've had a just had a personal best uh, Java barb, four pound, four ounce. So that's awesome. So yeah, um, let's have a look. My food's just arrived. Nice one. Cup of my cup. There you go. Got a hatsi eel. Just fat noodles, vegetables. Lovely. 
Well, it's about uh, 5 5 30 in the afternoon, sun's just going down, and uh, fishing was mad earlier. It's slowed down a little bit in the last hour or so, yeah, hasn't it? I mean, um, it wasn't mad, it was mad when you are, it wasn't really mad where I was today. No. Um, I Which has been unusual lately. Hasn't <laughs> <laughs> it? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm I'm a really a, good I day. I three sock, uh, one jar bar, which was a PB actually. Yeah. And one tilapia, which I foul it under the chin on the waggler. Yeah. And uh, that's it, I think. It's it's been, it's, it was one of your slower days yeah, here. Yeah, but yeah. but I've, I've had a, a cracking day. Oh. Really. It was ridiculous. Um, just, just two seconds. Um, one that. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the the sort of uh, the pink black shark minnow, um, yeah, and then the black, black shark yeah. minnow, and then a Julian's, and then um, a couple of koi, about four rohu, a Java barb, a couple of big heads, yeah. and it was just amazing. You know, uh, any one of those fish would have done. And uh, yeah. Katie, what did you have? I had a common, which is the first. The first I had two common. Big common, wasn't it? Yeah, 16, 16 four. Four. Uncommon. Um, uncommon. And Java barb um, mm. and a rohu, which we don't have pictures of. My fault. Yeah. Um, and lost. So I get it off the film. Yeah, it's good though. I know it wasn't even any film. Oh, yeah. I just got it on the mat. It all oh, happened a bit quick and it was under the rod. And oh, uh, yeah. but um, you get another one. Yeah. But uh, you get another one, Monday. We were. <laughs> <laughs> I still got it in there. We, we, we have noticed today that with uh, sort of a lot less anglers on yeah. it, because it's a weekday, uh, the fishing has been very good. It could be a bit of coincidence in that, but yeah. a good tip if you are coming on holiday to come into these sort of places where it's a Thai fishing park, then any, you can pick whatever day you, you can to come, and to come Monday to Thursday probably, Friday can probably to come, be okay. can to come Monday. Eh? <laughs> if you can to come. Can to come, yeah. yeah. But yeah, come on, come on Monday, or uh, I think any weekday where there's less pressure yeah, and the fish definitely. do seem a bit more settled. I mean, it's the same everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, that would be a, a good piece of advice. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to leave Dan's act to it now. He's going to yes. catch some scorchers uh, while we're away. And we're off to have some food with Africa and Jordan. Aren't we? Yeah, so that's going to be lovely. So uh, we better go. Yeah. Oh, he's on your line, mate. He's on your line. Is it? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, though, um, there's actually a lot of anglers turned up here late, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, they somewhere they keep it like, Yeah, come after work. Yeah. Like you could do. Uh, yeah. Live in close by. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's uh, awesome. Little lake, isn't it? 900 yeah. baht for the three of us. Down had five plus, uh, plates of food. And yeah. uh, that seal's really nice, sir. It, it, it was massive it's when it went past yeah, me. Really yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 I see you smiling as you were eating it. You're so happy. That's a bit of crack of day, yeah. tower bet, you've done it again, awesome stuff, yeah, awesome stuff. So I line vibes, it's uh, 20 past 6 now, Harvey's just left about half an hour ago, there you go, I'm not going to weigh this one, two and a half pound maybe, screamed off, lovely fish that, nice one, going back. <coughs> lovely. There's quite a lot of anglers here now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's loads of them where Harvey, as soon as Harvey moved, they all just started filling up on that, on that plinth there. I moved away because I was just sitting on the corner there. I wasn't catching much there anyway. Uh, just moved away, gave him a bit of space. So I've got one rod. I did have it right down in the corner there. But I moved it, I see some bubbles coming up and just put it just out, a couple of meters out off the bank here. I'll put it back on there. I've got one just literally down the edge here. And where that guy's waiting his bottle or whatever. Just got one just by that, just to the right hand side of him where that post comes down. Got one there, but it's on quite a small hook, so if I catch the hook saying it might see me off or go underneath that platform anyway. I'm gonna give it another half an hour. I'm gonna pack up, I've got a two hour, 15 minute drive back to Pattaya on my own, which is all good. Um, so I listen to some music get the tunes up going on the way back. Pretty tired as it goes, been pretty knackered today. Uh, yeah, a great weekend, great long weekend. Had a great long weekend last weekend, three days of palm tree. And now two days at that new lake and the day here has been brilliant. And three, three nights out, so yeah, super. And thanks to everybody along the way who we met and uh, fished with and partied with. Nice one.